All right, and here we are back with another edition of uh, Time Warner Cable. Fucking sucks. This is great. If you guys have been wondering why I've barely been streaming for like the past two months or so, it's because of this. Because my internet has been so good. In fact, it's so good that see here how I can't load anything? See how I can't load any pages? Like, you know, Craigslist or, you know, YouTube or anything else like that. Is that a cool feature, right? You know what the, what the coolest feature about it is? Is if I look down here and I look at my uh, awesome Time Warner cable modem. Let's zoom out to get the full. Oh, man. All five lights are on. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. And, and the Ethernet's going. And the Ethernet's going there. Well... It must be, it must be, you know, something weird going on. I don't even know, you know, it's just an outage. It's an outage or something like that. Except if you go down here and you actually check out, you know, the, the network stuff right here, you can see that in fact, give me a second here. It's real fun to work with this when it's blurry like this. But you see right there, my internet connection is up, yet my Time Warner cable Wi-Fi is down. Why is that, and how is that even possible? So you may be thinking, well, like I said, okay, this is just an outage or whatever, right? No big deal, you know, we'll be up in a little bit. Except it's been doing this ever since I got this new modem, and it's been doing it continually over and over and over and over. And the reason I got a new modem is because the old modem I had barely even worked to begin with, and it disconnected every five minutes. But this new modem, this new modem, oh, it's good. It's so good, in fact, that you know how everything here is offline, and I can't connect to anything? Oh, well, look at this. Look at this little little feature here we've got where I, I just click on this, and oh, I'm in a Skype call with people. With people that you can see the little things are going off there, you know? And it's, and it's flashing because the people are actually talking, which you would have to be online to do. So how does that work? Well, let's see. Let's see what happens if I can get these guys to talk in the chat, because maybe it's just like something delayed, right? I mean, they couldn't actually be live, you know, considering my internet connection is down and all, right? Let's let's do it here. Hey, you guys, I'm filming another video here. Wow. I'm filming another video here for this Time Warner cable thing, because I can't get it off my phone, because my phone sucks too. Can you guys write anything in the chat whatsoever? Yes. Well, anything obviously YouTube safe. Wow, okay, there you go. So you can see Samson is writing live right now. Okay, that is clearly not some bot or whatever else. I am connected to the internet. Well, god damn it, Salesforce. But yeah, so there you go. Alright. But, so, there you go. So, so clearly, we're connected to the internet. But yet, somehow, my browser doesn't work, and nothing else works. It's just Skype. Skype works, and oddly enough, if you're already on Gmail, if you're already on Gmail, it works too. Any sort of Google products work, which is really weird too. But again, this happens so often that I literally have to do this. I have to go over here, I have to fucking yank this son of a bitch out, and then be done with it for about a good minute or two, let it refresh. Then I have to plug it back in, and then I have to wait for another five minutes for it to slowly get back online, and then I have to do my network settings again, and you know what I get for that? I get about 30 seconds of internet before it goes back down. What a good internet connection that I'm paying like 40 or $50 a month for. Boy, I'm sure glad that money that I really need because I'm barely scraping by is going to something that is completely valuable and worth my time to pay for. They've already sent one technician out here. They're sending another technician out here Monday who's supposedly a, you know, supervisor tech. And we're going to see what's going to happen. But honestly, I know it's got to be something to do with either poor service to this area or it's got to be something to do with data caps because they say there's no data caps yet all the time when I used to upload video to YouTube you know used to because I haven't been able to upload practically anything in the past month whenever I used to upload videos to YouTube my connection would go down instantly as soon as I would upload it would instantly die like the split second I click upload and I will bet you anything that's what's going on here is a data cap because I'd upload so much stuff to YouTube and stream and everything else. The really funny thing is, too, is I can actually stream through Twitch with this. Like, if I actually start up XSplit right now and I stream to Twitch, it actually works. That's what's even more hilarious. Like, this, this makes no sense. I don't know how this is even possible. And, you know, again, this only started with the new modem. So it's not like it's like a computer virus or something like that because it started when the new modem came in. Like, that instant I hooked it up. So, I don't even know. I don't even honestly know. 
It's just ridiculous. I honestly think I deserve, if not a full refund for the past three or four months, I think I deserve just flat out free service if this is going to continue on because this type of disconnect stuff has been happening for the past two years. It's just gotten really bad to the point where I can't even do anything now. I've been online for maybe about an hour today and it's seven o'clock. That's about the total time I've been online because I have to unplug, replug, unplug, replug. And that's really a productive thing, by the way, you know, doing that over and over, that sure lets me get a lot of work done when I have to do that every five minutes. I mean, you know, and it's, it's just unacceptable. It's completely unacceptable. So Time Warner needs to do something about this. You know, it, it really is ridiculous. It's really, really, really just unacceptable. So that's my whole rant. Anyways, whatever. Fuck it. Just stupid fucking piece of bullshit. Goddamn fucking.